Hello everyone, here's Jali of Favorite Polish Madlet. So today what we are doing? We doing just pick up weapons and you will see how uh, near we are from uh, completing this weapon uh, droppable uh, system. Uh, so let's head to our script. Uh, let's head to our player weapons uh, player callback. Uh, so uh, inside here we have this little uh, line which will uh, debug only the uh, ID of her, uh, of her weapon and uh, let's modify it a little bit uh, uh, in order to simply um, uh, now have a function that will reference weapon uh, or weapon uh, player weapon so let's add a little function uh, like so Oh, come on and before that we're gonna change the order here so this way if we are receiving uh, all of this in uh, in our in our uh, in the same uh, frame uh, first we're gonna call the update weapon callback and next we're gonna call uh, the following uh, callbacks here uh, so yeah uh, now we're gonna head to our player weapon script and let's add a little function that will be named uh, add weapon. So, uh, what will do add weapon? Add weapon it will be very simple. Add weapon will help us to uh, know uh, uh, what weapon we're gonna add and then add it at the correct index. <coughs> so, here what we're gonna do. Is very simple we're gonna need two new variables uh, first one we're gonna be simply uh, where we are putting our weapons in our player so uh, currently the spot where we have every weapon in our player and another list that will reference all weapons that we can handle uh, in uh, in weapon perfect so uh, like so now we're gonna head uh, to our uh, uh, to, uh, to our function and we're gonna explain it so first if we are a uh, new weapon none of uh, so so we are going to return directly at the beginning of this function so we don't search for non weapon uh, next uh, we are gonna find our prefab here uh, for weapon to spawn then we are gonna instantiate our uh, weapon in our uh, in our weapon position at the correct position in the weapon uh, transform so i will show you how it's working later and here we're gonna use simply our uh, weapon id to know if we are an, on, a, on a primary or a secondary uh, weapon and this way we're gonna just uh, say that uh, the secondary or the primary is equal to id in order to know uh, that we are handling currently this weapon. We're gonna set this weapon in our uh, weapon list on our player weapon and then we're gonna simply initiate this weapon. So in order to initiate a weapon we're gonna need to change uh, something on our uh, init weapon uh, function. So here we're gonna rewrite uh, some of the function. So here we're gonna just override this function uh, the init function of our ribbon and here we're gonna just simply uh, do something like that so uh, we're gonna need an index this way it's more logic in our code uh, so we can uh, we determine the index in which we are gonna initiate our ribbon only on the player ribbon uh, yes like so and here we're gonna uh, go to our player weapon state uh, at the weapon index and we are gonna check if the uh, current weapon ammo uh, is not equal to minus one. If uh, our current ammo is not equal to minus one, uh, so we're gonna uh, initiate it uh, like so. Uh, <coughs> this means that we're gonna initiate it like used ammo here. And if it equals to minus one, we're gonna initiate the ammo like it is a new weapon. So like here. So the current ammo is equal to the magazine. The current total ammo is uh, equal to the 
uh, total magazine and here we're gonna just override the weapon at the in uh, the the state uh, of our list weapon at the index that we have chosen in our player ribbon and of course we're gonna finish this function by just simply uh, adding this like so and here now we can head to our player weapon and we see that we need to change our init weapon because mainly uh, it's no more used like uh, this way so let's head uh, to this function and let's check what we need to change so first we're gonna need to change uh, this uh, overall beginning so this way we are sure that we are we gonna initiate weapons that we want at this position uh, so here what we're gonna do is simple uh, simple we're, here we're gonna uh, choose a primary weapon and a secondary weapon uh, inner uh, player prefab uh, with which we're gonna spawn and uh, here we're gonna add them uh, and next what we need is simply to uh, have a coroutine that will wait until the weapon have spawned at those indexes and this way we can initiate the uh, everything correctly so uh, let's add the system collection library in our code like so and here what we doing is simply starting a coroutine uh, in which we're gonna uh, simply check if we uh, have uh, a ribbon initiated at the index if it's not uh, initiated we're gonna need to simply uh, wait until it's initiated uh, so here uh, we want to spawn with a glock so we will first have the glock in our hands so this way we are sure that uh, everything is good and now uh, we're gonna add a new function that will help us add weapons new weapons mainly so here we're gonna head to the bottom of our, of our little little um, class and here we're gonna add this little function that is simply a function that will check if you are uh, null uh, it will return nothing if you are null and uh, of course we are gonna check uh, which index we are in and we're gonna add this weapon to the current index like so uh, so here this way we are sure that we are adding the primary and the secondary weapon that we have uh, we have uh, 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 commanded in our player preferable so now what we need uh, let's see is to add uh, two little securities in our code so first security will be at the init whip uh, init ammo uh, position so let's head to the init ammo and here we're gonna just check if the weapon is uh, real and if the uh, weapon is not at the uh, at uh, the uh, knife uh, index and here in our function uh, inside weapon we're gonna change simply uh, these two uh, things at the beginning because we don't need now to override the the ammo on our, uh, on our weapon because mainly we are initiating then uh, those here when we are adding a weapon uh, so yeah, uh, everything's good, I think. Uh, now what we need is simply to head to our prefab and uh, make uh, sure that everything will work correctly. So now we're gonna head to our weapons uh, prefab and here what we're gonna do is uh, very simple. We're gonna go to all of our weapons and uh, here uh, is uh, very simple. We're gonna simply uh, put them at the uh, x-axis uh, one uh, So yeah, like so and uh, Let's do this for each of our weapons at the axis one like so uh, Because we will need to see them uh, so uh, for uh, now this will help us to see the weapons maybe we can advance them a little bit uh, on the on the on the z axis so let's let's advance them to one here too 
Uh, and uh, this way, uh, we will be sure that the weapons are currently initiated at the correct position. Um, mainly, uh, only the, uh, of course, only the, 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 the visual part. Uh, so like so, and now we're gonna just disable all of them, so this way the weapons will not appear uh, visible to the player when, when they are initiated. So let's go to a player, let's remove all of these weapons, we don't need them anymore, and let's uh, so assign everything that we need. So here we're gonna unassign uh, everything, like so, yeah. Let's here select the Glock and the Spas 12 and let's uh, give to the weapon transform the weapon transform so this way it's initiated at the correct position and here let's add the weapon in the weapon uh, references so uh, AK, Glock, we can add them in the order that we want like so and now we are sure that our uh, player is initiated correctly. Before building your game, uh, we have forgotten to use our coroutine of the set ammo. Uh, so uh, this means that we will have a little problem with your knife, because it will, will be never initiated, mainly because it will uh, in your this uh, line after that. So. Uh, let's uh, let's simply uh, build our game now here and this way we're gonna see uh, what we want to see uh, that we can throw weapons like in the last episode and we can uh, pick up weapons like we did in this episode and uh, yeah and that's it uh, that's it because we don't have uh, any need to do more so uh, in uh, more than one hour uh, in total we have made a system with our weapons that help us throw uh, weapons at the at the at, uh, at simply the the floor so you can see that is very quick to initiate uh, the weapon on our player and here we can throw the weapon Let's uh, use our weapons and let's uh, simply take the other player, throw the weapon, let's uh, take it and you can see that this weapon have uh, its ammo in total and this weapon, when we pick it up, we can see that we can change to it and you have the weapon used. Uh, same for the uh, total uh, ammo that uh, when it's reloaded, so here we have the uh, full ammo uh, with the used ammo, current ammo, and here we have the total ammo used, and uh, yeah. So as you can see, everything's worked finely. Uh, now we can uh, pick uh, these weapon up, and uh, yeah, nice. We can throw uh, throw some shots at our uh, opponents. We can uh, stab them. We can uh, do everything. So next episode, we gonna see uh, what is level design. We're gonna talk uh, about things like uh, uh, abilities and how we want to turn this game into a, a Valorant-like. And yeah, so see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, leave a like. Uh, check our social media, we are posting uh, more often now uh, content for, from Ergin Van Halala. And yeah, remember to cut every day. Bye!